What I'm doing here is very dangerous. I have a piece of galvanized pipe in the forge and in a moment you're going to see the zinc oxide from that galvanized coating turn into a gas. Prolonged exposure to this gas will definitely make you very sick and in extreme cases it'll kill you. The condition is called metal fume fever and it's caused by breathing in the gas produced by burning certain metals. These aren't exotic metals, that's the problem. They're used in everyday objects and they're found everywhere. Zinc is particularly hazardous to the blacksmith because it turns into a gas at such a low temperature. The fumes are very toxic and galvanized metal is probably the most abundant scrapped metal out there. So it's very tempting to bring home a load of scrap metal pipe and throw it in the forge or start welding it up into something that you need. And the whole time you're breathing these toxic gases and these metallic oxides are building up in your system. When they reach a critical level, your body starts shutting down and at this point, there isn't any way of reversing that process once it starts. If you look at the top rim of this pipe, you're going to see a white frosty coating starting to develop. That's a result of the galvanized coating starting to break down and the zinc is migrating to the surface. The bright blue flame that you see is the actual zinc burning off. And that greenish blue flame will intensify as the piece gets hotter. The effect that you're seeing here isn't anywhere near as dramatic as you would get when you're welding a piece and that's because the pipe is being heated up very slowly as compared to the quick intense heat that you get when you're welding. Also the flame from the fire is consuming all of the white smoke that you would normally get when you're welding galvanized metal. But zinc isn't the only metal that you have to worry about. Chromium is also a very toxic metal and you're exposed to that every time you're welding stainless steel. Prolonged exposure to cadmium can result in liver disease or emphysema and cadmium is very very common in paints. Beryllium is another metal known to cause metal fume fever and that's very common in some copper alloys and aluminum alloys. This piece of galvanized pipe was also painted several times so chances are I have fumes developing here from all of the metals that I've listed here. And if all that wasn't bad enough, galvanized metal starts off-gassing around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're working in a fairly airtight shop that has good windows and weather strip doors, any piece of galvanized metal that's sitting close to the fire and is allowed to get over 400 degrees can really change the air quality inside that shop in a hurry. So in short, it shouldn't take a real genius to figure out that you don't want to be breathing this stuff. The health risks really outweigh the benefits that you're going to get by recycling metals that have been rust proofed with zinc or chrome or painted with lead or cadmium. The best practice is to avoid all of that stuff. Use black iron pipe if you need to weld anything out of pipe and uh, try to avoid painted surfaces as much as possible. If you need to use something that's painted, use a chemical stripper to get rid of the paint rather than burning it off. And also wear a respirator as much as you can, especially when you're grinding because it's not just the fumes that cause problems. The grinder produces particles that are small enough for you to breathe in and that just compounds the problem. If you've been working with something you're not familiar with or for whatever reason you start developing headaches and flu-like symptoms, don't take that lightly. It could be the early warning signs that you're inhaling toxic gases. You need to go to the hospital and get it checked out. Tell them that you're a welder and you've been exposed to galvanized metal fumes. And then go back into your shop, do whatever you have to to pinpoint the problem and correct it. In the description I've added a couple of links. One is for an Anvil Fire article that describes how one blacksmith died as a result of metal fume fever. And the other is for a website that gives you more information about metallic oxides and their health risks. So I would advise you to get all the galvanized metal out of your shop and start working safely. We'll see you next time.
Hi, I'm Dennis, and thanks for watching. If you like this video, by all means, give it a thumbs up. If you want to support this channel, you have a couple of options to do that. The first thing, of course, is to just subscribe. Second, if you have ideas or photographs of things you'd like to see on this channel, send them along. I'll turn them into a video. If you want to lend your financial support to this channel, you have a couple of options there. You can go to my channel homepage and click on the options that you see in the banner. So thank you for your support, and with your help, I'll be doing this for some time to come. We'll see you next time.